The fact that she shared a name with an MRT station in some places in Singapore piqued Miss Zora Algenit's interest in tracing her roots. It helped that her ancestors were genealogists for Arab families in Singapore in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. And they left behind a Henryton family tree and other records of their family history. However, many of the resources were in Arabic, a language she was not too familiar with. The passing of older relatives also meant that some past photos remain untold stories. Miss Zora's research has led her to give public talks about her heritage and co-edit a book. A Reverend Jenny, Masjid Omar Kompong Malaka, which won the Best Custom Publishing title at the Singapore Book Awards 2023. The 67-year-old retired senior librarian is also one of 12 authors of a new book. 12 Family Histories, Tapestry of Singapore's Multicultural Legacy, which brings to life the stories of 12 migrant Arab, Bugis, Chinese, Eurasian, Indian, and Paranokan families who have called Singapore home. The 284-page book is published by the Genealogy Society Singapore GSS, which initiated the project and sourced for contributors, and the Go Lu Club, with the support of the National Heritage Board. A common theme runs through the book's diverse tales, the shared values of hard work, perseverance, and mutual respect that have been the foundation of Singapore's success. Working on the book with other like-minded Singaporeans of different races helped Miss Zora learn about the many similarities and differences of various races here. She said, I see it as what my ancestor Syed Omar al Janid, who first came to Singapore in 1819, would wish to accomplish as he worked together with other early pioneers of Singapore like Tan Tok Sung and Tan Kim Sung. To contribute significantly to Singapore's development, she said. Miss Vivian Wang, whose late husband Danny Tan Kun Po was the grandson of the late businessman and philanthropist Tan Kok Hee, wrote her story in memory of her husband and her late father-in-law Mr Tan Guan Che. She wanted to share their illustrious family history, focusing on their tradition of thrift and philanthropy. The 39-year-old, who is a committee member of the Tan Kok Hee Foundation, said her husband's death from a heart attack in 2018 came as a huge blow to her. I once fell into deep self-blame and depression. It was Tan Kok Hee's motto, persistence and perseverance, that got me through the darkest period in my life. For 69-year-old retired auditor Ronnie Tan, tracing his Paranokan Chinese roots for the book was relatively easy. The president of the King Tech Wai, a mutual aid association founded in 1831, said his grandfather had compiled a complete record of the family genealogy, starting from their ancestor who left China around 1776 to seek a better life in Southeast Asia. With all the information, it took me only a week to write a brief family story, he said. I intend to do an ebook which has less space constraint and can be updated as more information is uncovered. Even ordinary Singaporeans should document their family histories, said retired teacher Sandara Pondion, one of the book's authors, who hopes his story is of some value to Singapore's social history. The 76-year-old said, The greatest gain I had was the knowledge and realization of what an extended family I had while searching for my roots, and the satisfaction of leaving a record of my family history to my great-grandchildren and their peers when I am no longer around. Another of the authors, Mr. Subir Lakshmanan, died in February while writing his family story. He was a fourth-generation Chetia whose great-grandfather started a financing business in 1892 in Market Street. His unfinished draft was included in the book with the last section untouched in the hope that his future generations will continue the story. GSS president in Yukon said the book's multiracial approach is in line with the society's objective to promote genealogy among all Singaporeans. GSS will continue to encourage Singaporeans
to write and publish their family histories, said the 83-year-old. We look forward to working jointly with social, cultural, community and clan associations to reach out to more Singaporeans and to co-publish their family history with us.